Hey, hello there. This is going to be an update of our channel and a few of our tools. So first to start off, uh, we just passed the 2000 uh, mark for subscribers on YouTube. And I'm really happy with that. It, I never imagined that people would be so interested in these tools, but we're just gonna keep building and see uh, how much value we can create by making geometry nodes tools and tutorial videos. So thanks a lot for that. Uh, and now going on to the uh, tools. So first of all, uh, we updated the stitches uh, because a lot of people use the stitches in a real world scale and I only had like a scaled up version and sometimes it's uh, a bit tedious to scale all the parameters down uh, and make it work. And here we have two small cushions which has a real world scale stitch on it. Um, and you can just copy them and uh, pass them in your own project and use them in this scale. This is the curve ones. So you create a curve and then you get a stitch. And this one is a vertex group one. So you can uh, take your mesh and then select vertex groups, lines, so an edge loop, and then easily create a stitch on that. So uh, hopefully that saves a lot of time for people that use these stitches in a different scale. So that's the update for the stitch tool. Then also we have an update for the uh, weld tools. So this is a new kind of weld, uh, which works also with vertex groups. So before we had this setup, um, it's like an intersection weld. So you just have a folder. This folder has different kind of uh, objects that are intersecting and the intersection is calculated. And now we also have an easier way to do it. Uh, it's more by hand, but uh, it can be a little bit quicker sometimes. It's by vertex group. So as you can see here, we have vertex group name that you can take. Usually it's called just group. As you can see here, vertex group. Um, you can change like the extrude kind, so it looks a bit more round or flat. Now it's flatter and extrude, extruded subdivision. It has a little bit of depth. And here you have all the parameters that you can change. Also the color or the iridescence, you can play with that. But if you want to add more weld lines, you go to vertex group, you go into edit mode. And if I select this edge loop, for example, and assign it, there is my, uh, my weld. And also here you can uh, select the edge loop here and then remove it. And this way you can uh, control where your weld lines go. And sometimes uh, you don't want to make intersections, but your model already has the geometry to select and create a vertex group. So in this way, now there's a, another way, another method to create these weld lines. So that is the weld. And then also someone was asking if uh, there were more options for the, for the bolts and screws tool. I kind of abandoned this project a little bit because uh, I saw the bolt factory uh, with which you can generate a lot of bolts. But uh, some people are still using my tool because it's parametric and you can easily scale these different kinds of bolts. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pick up this project again and add more kinds of caps and maybe more types of threads and maybe create a set of standardized uh, bolts and tools. Like the person that contacted me, uh, he was uh, making a lot of drawings in cut. And I also used to be uh, drawing in cut a lot and taking a lot of these screws and bolts for my projects. So I know how nice it is to have them all standardized. So I'm gonna try to do that and uh, build this project out to be more versatile and have a lot more value. If you have any suggestions, just let me know if there's something you need. I uh, take feedback very serious. Also on Blender Market, if someone uh, tells me they need something, I'm gonna dive into it and see if I can create it or uh, find someone uh, who can create it. So uh, that's nice to keep building them and creating value for the Blender community. 
So I hope you like these changes and thanks again for the amount of subscribers. It's really special to me and I uh, hope to see you in the next one. Okay, bye.